I went into medicine because I felt it was a profession that I could do some good. I really didn't know what I wanted to do when I first went to college. So it was sort of a progressive move on my part uh, into medicine, but it's the profession that I feel uh, most comfortable with now. I think uh, a characteristic that sets Dr. O'Hanley apart is his overall nature towards putting the needs of others before himself. He really cares about his patients, especially here on the mobile bus. You see the patients continuing to come back to him. Um, even if they've already tried to be set up with a different primary care doctor, they always want to come back to him. There's so many things about Dr. O'Hanley that are special. One of the things I like best is his ability to listen to people. He listens to the patients and he listens to the students and it makes them feel valued and comfortable in his presence. So Dr. Hanley is really good at, I guess, inspiring others to want to learn more. And he kind of inspires us to want to learn everything. And the reason for that is you never know when you're going to come across a situation where you're going to need that tool in your back pocket. Dr. Hanley is such a special physician and teacher. I've worked with him for over 20 years. He's special because he is so opening to the, the students, the residents that come on board. He makes them feel welcome the first time they walk in the door. Dr. O'Hanley is a great educator because he's thinking beyond just the physical. Uh, he, he's a physician, so he is concerned with what's happening with somebody's physical health. He's also paying attention to what they need from a spiritual perspective and a holistic perspective. What makes my best friend special? He's very intelligent and mostly I think he's so patient and tolerant of other people and he loves what he does. I've um, talked about retirement, but it's not in his vocabulary because he really enjoys family practice. What excites me the most about uh, bringing up the next generation of educators and doctors is to see them go on in, into practice and to be successful physicians. I've always looked on education as like throwing a rock into a lake and seeing the ripples go out. Seeing them progress into the fields that uh, I feel most strongly about are what gives me satisfaction. The Mount Carmel Mobile Coach is, I think, the perfect practice setting for Dr. O'Hanley. Uh, we have a street medicine program right now that we have simply because Dr. O'Hanley was engaged in street medicine initiatives um, in other areas. So uh, an entire program was developed where we're going out in a Jeep looking for people living in homeless camps and trying to meet their needs. That entire program was developed because Dr. O'Hanley brought it to us. So the mobile unit is a lot different because Dr. O'Hanley, he will try to manage the patient's care without having to send him to different specialists. He uh, doesn't have as many resources to do specific testing like MRIs and CT scans. So a lot of it is based on physical exams and he's really good at that. So we really learn out here how to manage a patient just by using our stethoscopes, how to use um, our exams to come up with a diagnosis and then we treat appropriately. My time as a Trappist monk uh, really did influence me. I did a lot of uh, manual labor in the monastery, a lot of prayer, a lot of reading, and I felt that I could use the gifts that God had given me even uh, better in a life of medicine. Dr. O'Hanley is very special to all of us and I think what makes him special is that he's a man of God. He has answered a calling and uh, he has continued daily to answer that call and you can see that in the work that he does and um, the way he treats everybody. My family is made up of my wife Hannah we have four children, two boys and two girls. My youngest daughter is a speech therapist. My oldest daughter is a high school English teacher. My oldest son is a musician, and my youngest son is also a teacher. I have eight grandchildren, and uh, they're all wonderful. My hobbies are probably running 5Ks. I love to exercise and I 
preach that to all my patients as well. I think exercise is uh, better than any medicine, really. Dr. O'Hanley feels very strongly about health. Every single time I run a 5K with him, he brings students with him. He engages his students in activities that will improve their health and well-being, and then without even telling them, I'm teaching you how important health and well-being is, he's really engaging them in that activity themselves. So as they move forward and as they become more experienced practitioners, they'll have the ability, the real life ability, to turn that education into some kind of a great teaching moment for their patients. Well, it's been a pleasure working with Dr. O'Hanley all these years. Like I said, I would not have traded this experience for anything. I've been so fortunate to work uh, at Mount Carmel Outreach with Dr. O'Hanley. It's been a blessing. Dr. O'Hanley, it's been a pleasure working with you, and I'll never forget the experiences you've taught me, and I hope to use them in practice on my own. My name is Dr. Jack O'Hanley and I'm a proud family medicine educator and family physician.